Okay, Clay and I are sitting here having our morning coffee. And uh, this kitten, I didn't know why she was doing this. And Clay told me it was because um, you said that her mother, she's trying to nurse. So, didn't get enough milk. so we did, Clay got her some extra milk. So we give her some milk. But I have this little cloth because <laughs> otherwise she digs the tire out of my legs with shorts being that it's summer. That she kind of plays on this little blanket. And uh, actually, Jack Rabbit's sitting, sitting here with her. And uh, don't mind my dirty floor. <laughs> we were moving things around yesterday, as always. But uh, anyway, were you trying to nurse? So she has some milk. And uh, she's just been using this little, I don't know, like this little dishcloth thing as a nursing thing. So what do you think there, Jackrabbit? You got company? So, he's a good boy. They don't mind each other. The guinea pig is sitting by herself. And actually, for right now, because the guinea pig and the rabbit were having so much fun, I let them stay together for a little bit. I'm just watching to see, because the rabbit will bully a guinea pig sometimes. But actually, they seem happier together. So, I just thought I'd see how it goes. They're kind of happy in there. As long as nobody's uh, hurting or fighting, I guess. But um, they all have their own little spot. So the guinea pig has her own spot. He, Jack has his own spot. And the kitty does. But uh, they all can play together if they want. She's giving herself a bath. What are you doing? Are you going to tell him you like him? I don't care. He's just a rabbit. He's just a rabbit. So, Kitty, <laughs> Kitty, <laughs> Katrina, Katrina, Cat, and Jack Rabbit is trying to tear up this cloth, too. So, she's purring. Can you hear her purring? So, they're just hanging out this morning. And I left the guinea pig in there. She's, they're eating uh, corn stalks and scraps from all my dehydrating so okay I guess I'm going to uh you're gonna clean me too <laughs> I guess I'm going to get going about my day I just thought I'd sit here for a few minutes and pet my critters and uh she found the button quail too but they're so fast she she's uh she looked at them, but she was more interested in playing with the bunny rabbit and the guinea pig because they were all having a good time together. So, you said, Clay, if they start off as little, they can sometimes live together? Yeah, it won't even pique her interest the next time she, when she, as she gets older. It'll what? be just second nature having them in the end. <laughs> I think the rabbit bit her a little, like nibbled on her. If you brought her home as a full grown cat, she bother well they like each other yeah he's i don't know he might not have nibbled her but she jumped at him quick so he might have because he was chewing on that thing if, oh if i brought her home as a full grown, grown cat she'd haunt, haunt them probably yeah, for the sure yeah she'd be merciless yeah these guys get along oh now they're playing are they playing They're friends. No. You told me that the rabbit would uh, probably beat up the kitten. If uh, the rabbit didn't want anything to do with it. Yeah. yeah. So I just watch them. Make sure there's no aggressive behavior. But they're playing, as you can see. Yeah, you guys are funny. Okay, guys. Like, subscribe. And I'll see you in my next video. What are you smelling? What are you looking for? He's looking for something. Sitting on the cat. Don't bite her because she's quick.
But whenever you have two animals introducing them, just, I, I always keep watch. The younger the better. Yeah, the younger the better. I keep watch. Because, especially, you just never know. So, but, anyway, I will see you guys in my next video. God bless.